Good morning. I know we're early, but I'll go ahead and get in position. Find yourself a comfortable chair. It's okay if your chair has arms on it, but if you can find one that doesn't, it's probably even better. So maybe just a fold-up chair like we always use in here would be great. Or maybe a dining room chair. Hope everybody is good and well. We're gonna do a good warm up this morning. A little bit longer than usual, because if you're like me, you may be a little bit stiff and not stretching as much as you usually do. I certainly encourage everybody to continue to move during this time, even if it's not a structured class. Um, walking, of course, is always wonderful. And I realize there may be some people on here that I don't know, so I should introduce myself. My name is Sandy. Welcome to Chair Yoga. We're gonna do a little bit of everything. We'll do a good warm up. Then we'll do some stretching, probably a lot of stretching. And then we'll wind down, take a couple of minutes to relax. So if you'd like to get water to put beside your chair, you can certainly do that. It's always okay to stop and drink water. I encourage it. Or coffee. Maybe you haven't had your coffee yet. Water is a great thing though when you're exercising. I wish I could see you. Hopefully I will soon. You can just sit quietly for another minute or two until everybody joins us. <clears throat> Just relax in your chair if you can. Try to scoot all the way back so your back is against the back of the chair and you can relax, let go a little bit. Your feet are flat on the floor. You can turn your palms to the sky, which is just a gesture that we're open. can be opened or closed. Just let your breathing be slow and easy. Feel your chest rise and fall. Let's go ahead and begin. Hopefully everybody's in a comfortable chair. And let's begin by just dropping your chin to your chest. Go ahead and move your head slightly back and forth. And then bring it right back up. Drop your right ear over to your right shoulder. A little bit of stretch on that left side. Keep that left shoulder down. Breathe. Right back up. Left ear to your left shoulder. Keep that right shoulder down. Deep breath. Back up to the middle. Good. And then just take your head back, but only take it back slightly. I want your neck to be at a curve only about like this. Just slightly. Breathe. And then come forward in your chair so your back comes off the back of the chair. And then find those sits bones. 
Those two bones on your seat where if you sit down in the sand, there'd be an imprint, and that's your sits bones. So come forward on those sits bones, scoot up a little bit if you need to, so your feet are flat and grounded. And then let's just pick our shoulders up. Bring your shoulders up to your ears, and then roll those shoulders back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, pull it down, take it forward again, right back up to your ears, take it back, pull it down, good, forward up to your ears. It's okay if you've got snaps and pops as long as you don't have pain. Forward, right back up, take it back, and relax. Good. And then just pick that right shoulder up. You can pick your arm up with it and drop it. Good, left shoulder up and drop it. If you want to try this, take both shoulders up and drop it. Good. And then sweep both arms up to the sky. Up to the sky. And just reach up. Reach up. Stretch your fingers all the way down to your torso. And then reach up with that right hand and left hand. Right. I want you to stretch out this whole torso. Go to rib cage. Reach. 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 Both arms up. Take your right hand and grab that left wrist. Take your feet apart slightly. It just gives you a little bit more stability. You can scoot forward in your chair if you need to. Your right hand has that left wrist and you're gonna pull it over to the right. And deep breath. Press that left rib cage out. Pretend like you're trying to create space between your ribs. Breathe. Breathe. Bring it right back up. Left hand grabs that right wrist. Same thing, other side. Stretch it over. Press that right rib cage out. Deep breath. And right back up. Good. Bring those hands down. And then let's warm up from head to toe. Go ahead and bring your feet back forward so your legs are in an L shape, 90 degrees. Take your hands on top of your thighs. Good. And then I just want you to start to, you don't have to slap hard, but just start slapping your thighs. Good. Okay, to get a little bit of a sting. Keep going, keep going. You can move back and forth and then relax. You can take your hands to the side of your chair or the top of your thighs, and I want you to do the same thing with your feet. Just start with your feet. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. You can come down on the balls of your feet, but also your heels. See if you can get your, the entire bottom of your foot down. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Maintain your posture here. Elongate your spine. Keep that going. And then relax. And then let's combine the two. So I want you to take your hands to the top of your thighs, and you're going to move your feet at the same time. Ready? You go as slow or as fast as you'd like to. Keep going. Move your hands a little bit back and forth. Maybe go slow. Maybe faster. Keep going. Go check your breath. Deep breath. You want to try it a few times. Inhale through your nostrils and blow out your mouth. Keep going. Keep slapping. Keep tapping. Keep going. And relax. Good. Take a deep breath in. I want you to try to inhale through your nose if you can. Inhale through your nostrils. Sweep those arms out. Turn your palms out. Exhale. Blow it out your mouth. And then let's scoot forward even a little bit more. So you're more on the edge. Most of the back of my thigh is forward, not on the chair. Pick that right knee up. Interlace your fingers in front of that knee. Bring your posture up. Good. Bring that knee up. Good. And just pull it in as tight as you can. It's okay if it's not all the way. Good. Stay right there. Then I want you to soften your spine, your shoulders, your neck. Bring your head down if you can. Nose to your knee. And right back up. Good. Bring it together again for two, and up. Three, and up. Four, and up. 
five and up, six and up, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Relax. Take a breath. Good. Pick that left knee up. Interlace your fingers in front. Good. Pull that knee in. Just get that hip. Wake that hip up first. Good. Then you're going to soften your spine, your shoulders, your neck. Bring your head down, nose to your knee for one. And back up. Two. And up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Good. And then bring that down. And then let's take our legs apart. So as long as you don't have arms on the side of your, your chair, take them apart. Even if you do though, just take them as wide as you can. So you want your knees out at an angle. Good. And then bring your arms up into goddess pose, goal post arms. Good. Stretch those fingers out. Bring your right knee up, your right elbow down, and touch. And when you do it, I want you to see the difference between if I do this or if I do this. So I want you to get your back into it. Bend your back and back up. Right side and up. Use your back and up. Touch and up. Touch and up. Touch. Good. Let's do 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Good. Bring your arms down. Roll your shoulders a little bit if you'd like. Good, you can move your head, make sure your neck's okay. Check in with your jaw as well, your teeth. Make sure you're not clenched, you're not tight. It's a good thing to keep some space between your teeth, just to keep this area relaxed when we hold so much tension. Now I want you to bring both hands out, both arms out. Goddess arms, go post arms. Good, now I want you to, if you need to scoot forward in the chair a little bit, do it. I want you to bring both those elbows down. Start slow and easy. If you can, bring both knees up, touch, and back. Good, bring it together again for two, and back. Three, and back. Four, and back. Five, six, seven, and if you don't get all the way there, that's okay, just do the best you can. Eight, nine, and 10. Good, let's do one more. And then when we do the one more, I want you to see if you can hold it. So I want you to soften your spine, bend your back, start to bring those elbows down, bring those knees up. Good, touch. Good, wiggle your toes. Hold it, breathe. And relax. Good, bring both those knees together. Good. Then let's, I want you to, we're gonna work on our torso a little bit. I want you to just concentrate on your spine. Visualize your spine from your hip bone all the way up to just the anterior part of your shoulder. I want you to think about that area. Hold your hands here, and then I want you just to move, pretend like you're on the inside of the barrel, and you're rolling your spine, your belly around. Good, so you're rolling all, you're going all four directions. Good, so it's not your head and your shoulders, it's not like this, it's your torso, it's your spine. Bring it all the way around. Check your breath, deep breath if you need to. And then we're gonna reverse and go the opposite direction. Take it around. Good, a couple more. All the way around and back. Good. And now let's do 
Let's take it up a notch. I want you to take both your knees out and then both your arms out. Good, I realize my music is not very loud today. I may sneak over there in a minute and turn it up. So everybody's done a jumping jack. So those of you that have done it with me before, you know what's coming. So it's fun, it's a little bit of a brain teaser. So we're gonna start by just bringing your hands together and your knees together for one, and then back out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. If your shoulders start to get tired, you can always do this. Nine, 10, we're gonna do 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good, and relax. Good. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna wake up our brain a little bit. So you're gonna take your knees wide, but this time when your knees are wide, you're gonna bring your hands together. So like this, you can bend or straight. So we're just gonna do the opposite with our arms that we're doing with our legs. Good, take it out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. If you find yourself struggling with that, where you're doing the opposite with your legs that you're doing with your arms, try closing your eyes because sometimes that really helps. Now we're going to take it up a notch. We will not start with the brain tease. We're going to start with just a regular one, but we're going to do three moves with it. So legs are together, arms are together, both out wide, together, out wide, and then arms to the sky. Good. Forward, sky for two. Forward, three. Forward, four. Forward, five. Forward, six. Forward, seven. Forward, eight. Forward, nine. I call this the yoga jack. Forward, 10. Forward, 11. Forward, 12, 13, 14, make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath, 15, and relax. Good, roll those shoulders, take a breath. Good, if you've got water, drink water. I'll be back with you in two seconds. I'm gonna turn our music up. And then let's do the brain teaser. So we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did. We're just gonna do the opposite with our arms that we're doing with our legs. So legs together, arms wide. Good, again, you can do this or this. Good, bring it together, back out, arms to the sky, and out. Forward, sky, forward, three, forward, four, Forward, five. So when your hands are together, your legs are wide. Six. Forward, seven. Forward, eight. Forward, nine. Forward, ten. Forward, eleven. Forward, twelve. Forward, thirteen. Forward, 14, forward, and 15. Good, and relax. Take a deep breath, take a big belly breath. Fill up your belly, your lungs. And then blow it out. Good, and then let's take those legs wide again. I want you to bring your right forearm down to the top of that right thigh, open up that palm. Make, for you, make sure your feet are flat and grounded. Bring your left arm up and stretch it over. Really stretch. See if you can create a straight line from your fingertips all the way down to this left hip. Good, deep breath. 
Deep breath. Deep breath. And then bring it right back. Left forearm on top of that left thigh. Bring your right arm up and over and stretch it out. Create that straight line again if you can. Deep breath. And then bring it right back up. Good. Then let's work on our hips a little bit. Let's work on opening our hips. So I want you to bring your knee up. You know what, too? If you want to use, um, if you want to prop with this, you can use a belt, you can use a scarf, or if you want to go without, that's certainly okay. Good. So bring it up. Then I want you to take your right hand to the inside of that right thigh. Make sure this left foot is grounded. And then you're going to take that right knee out to the thigh. Good. You want to try to bring it out 90 degrees if you can, but if that doesn't work and you're right here, that's okay. Take it out. Good. Breathe. Keep your posture up. Good. You can hold on with that left hand. And then if you'd like to try it, Take that right leg out. You can do a little bit or a lot. Now this is where you would wrap the scarf or the belt around your foot and then hold on to it like this. Good, hold it, hold it. And then those of you out there, and I know there's quite a few that wanna take it further and you wanna take your first two fingers and hold that right toe, then take that leg out, you can. Good, it's okay if you're not there. Almost counts in yoga. Deep breath. Relax that knee, bring it right back. Good, now we're gonna take, I apologize, I've got a cough drop in my mouth. <laughs> take your left hand to the outside of that right knee and bring it across. So take your whole leg across. So now we're gonna adduct that hip. So take it across. Again, bring your posture up. Good, hold it, hold it, breathe. If you wanna to try to straighten it out slightly, you can. Maybe move your hand down. Good, but you want that stretch right there. You wanna feel that. Good, deep breath. Again. Those of you that want to take a step further, take your first two fingers. You can grab your toe. You can also grab the outside of the foot or even the inside. So try to take it a little further across. And you don't want to turn your body. You want to stay straight and pull that over. So you get this hip right here. Good. You get that piriformis, all that good stuff going on there. Good. Stretch across. Posture. Soften that knee and bring it right back. Good. And then let's take that same leg. I want you to take it straight out in front. Grab the knee first. Then take that foot straight out. I want you to walk your hands down. Maybe to your calf. Maybe your ankle. Those of you that are really loose, if you want to take it to your foot, you can. Good. Then take a deep breath. It's okay if this leg is bent. Take a deep breath. Bring your nose to your knee. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Again, it's absolutely okay if you're like this. Good. And then just release that, bring it back down. Then let's do that same series with our left leg. So you're going to pull it up. Good. Bring it in. Take your left hand to the inside of that left knee. You can hold on to the right side of the chair. Take it out to the right. Good. You want to just start to wake up your, the interior here. Good, you're gonna feel it in your hamstring a little bit, maybe your groin, breathe. Good, if you wanna stretch it out slightly, you can. Reach out, good, maybe hold on to your knee, your calf, whatever works. Try to keep your posture up. And then again, those of you that wanna take it further, if you wanna grab your big toe or that foot, stretch it out. Good, you can flex your heel or not. Soften that knee, bring it back. Good, 
So now let's do, that's called an abduction when we do that. So now we're going to do the adduction. Take it all the way across your body, same leg. Good, right hands on the outside and just pull it across. Pull it across. You want to feel it right here. And breathe. If you'd like to stretch it out a little bit more, move your hand down. Good, pull it across. You may have one side that's a lot different than the other. This side's definitely tighter for me. So, totally normal. And then again, those of you that want to take it further, take your hand to the outside of your foot. You can grab your big toe, inside, whatever works for you, and stretch it across and breathe. Release that, bring it back. Good, then let's take it straight out. So same leg, pull that left knee in. Good, and then let's take it out, walk your hands down. You can be like this, to your ankle, to your foot, whatever feels right for you. Slowly start to bring it up, straighten it or not. Elbows wide, deep breath. Nose towards your knee. Deep breath. Deep breath. Soften that knee, bring that foot right back down. Good, and relax. Give yourself a moment, take a deep breath, drink water. And then let's work on our abs a little bit. So let's take, take your right leg, your right thigh, and cross it on top of your left thigh. So cross at the thighs. Good, then I want you again, bring your posture up, elongate. You can take your hands down, hold on to the chair if you want to. Good, find those sits bones, come up on those sits bones. Good, bring your left heel up. And then I want you to just bring those knees up and back down. You wanna to try to do it with your back off the back of the chair, but with that said, if that doesn't work and you need to lean back, then lean back. Good, but bring it up for two and down. Three and down. Four and down. Five, and then I'd like you to hold it. Hold it, breathe. And then for those of you that would like to try it, I want you to reach down with your right hand, grab that left ankle or that left foot, reach down with your left hand, grab that ankle or that right foot, good. And then pull it in, deep breath. You've got two things going on here. Number one, you can pull your knees in if you'd like, good, and number two, your knees may come in and your feet may stay down, and that's okay. But if you'd like to try it, take your feet out as well and breathe. Bring that down. Good. Take your time. Easy release and come back down. Good. Now take your left thigh across on top of the right. Good. Hold it. Bring your right heel up. Good. Hold on to the chair if you'd like or your arms out if you don't want. Good. Bring it up for one. Two, three, four, and then remember on five, we're going to hold it. Bring it up for five, hold it, hold it, breathe. Good, it's a great move just to stay right there if you want to. If you feel like you can take it further, right hand grabs that left foot, left hand grabs that right foot. Good, pull those knees in, breathe. If you want to take your feet out, take your feet out, try it. And then right back down. Good. Uncross. Good. And relax. Relax. Stretch that right leg out to the side. Bring it back. Left leg out to the side. Bring it back. Now we're going to take that right leg all the way to the outside of the right, of the right side of the chair. Now again, if you've got legs on that chair, of course this is an issue, so then you just have to take your leg to right there. So if you can bring it all the way over, try that. Good, so you wanna take your legs into an L, go to a 90 degree angle, and you're gonna face forward, so you're gonna face me. Left knee is in the front, sweep your arms up to the sky, inhale up, and breathe. Press down with your feet. Same time, you're reaching up with your arms. Warrior one, and 
and let's take it out wide with your arms for warrior two. Take your gaze to the right. Deep breath. Bring that right elbow down, top of that right thigh. Bring your left arm up and stretch it over and breathe. Bring your arm back up, bring it down to the chair. Bring your right arm up this time. You're holding on with your left. Bring it up, press that rib cage out and breathe. Bring that right arm up to the sky and then turn so your palm is out. And then try to bring your torso back up again so it's straight up. Good, then you're gonna bring that right foot up and your right hand down. So maybe bring it up and tap for one. And then let's do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, stretch it up. Bring that right back down. Good. Pull that right knee forward. Good, relax for a minute. Roll that shoulder if you need to. And then let's take the left leg out, same thing. Bring it out, you wanna to try to create a 90 degree angle here if you can, L shape. Good, you're gonna face forward, face me. Sweep your arms up to the sky, inhale up. Three breaths. Take those arms out wide, warrior two, gaze to the left. Bring that left elbow down, top of that left thigh, bring that right arm up and stretch it over and breathe. Bring that right hand back up, take it to the outside of that chair, good, hold on. Bring that left arm up and stretch it up. And bring that arm straight up. Turn that palm towards the outside. Good, if you'd like to try it, bring that left hand down, left foot up, touch for one, and back up. Touch for two, and up. Three, and up. Four, and up. Five, and up. Six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Good. Bring it back down. Take that leg forward. Good. Relax. Roll those shoulders. Good. And then let's do one more from our seat. And then I'm going to come up and let's do a couple of balance things. I want you to take that right foot out to the side. So it's just at a little bit of an angle. Good, my seat is almost at the edge of the chair, but not so much that you're fearful you're gonna fall off. Then I want you to take your hands out, still facing forward the whole time. Take your hands out to the left. Good, stretch it out, stretch it out. You're stretching that right leg. My right toe is on the floor, arms to the left. Stretch out, breathe. Back down, bring that leg in. Other side. Breathe for three. And then back down. I want you to take it a little faster if you can. Try to put a little bit of rhythm in it. Take it out for one. Bring it down, other side. Stretch. 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 And if that's enough for you, I want you to continue just like that. Those of you that feel like you want to take it up a notch, let's go for it. Good, stretch it up. 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 Make sure you're secure on your chair. Up. 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 Let's do three, two, and one. Good, and relax.
relax. Roll those shoulders back. Good. Let's do one forward fold, and then we're going to come up. Take your knees out wide. Knees out wide. You're up on your sits bones. Sweep those arms up to the sky. And then I want you to forward fold. I'm going to give you a couple options here. If you have no heart issues, you're not a cardiac patient, you don't have any issue with vertigo, and you want to come all the way down, then come all the way down. If you do have issues, I want you to stop right here. So you stop halfway, try to flatten your back, reach those arms out. Good. Again, if you want to take it all the way down, take it all the way down. Good. Drop your head. Deep breath. Let your whole upper body hang in an inversion. So you're hinging from your hips. Deep breath. On each exhale, drop a fraction of an inch further. And then slowly come back up. Come up with your lower back first. Then your midsection, your thoracic spine, your shoulders, your neck, and your head. Good. Bring those feet together. Good. Press into those feet. Those feet are hip width. Good. You can hold on to your chair here or bring your hands here. I want you to lean forward slightly, but your head stays up the whole time. So continue to look at me the whole time. Then you're going to lift up your bum. Good. Right there. And then you're going to come all the way up. Bring that head up. Good. Shake it out a little bit if you'd like. Good. And then we're going to do some balance poses. I'm going to come behind the chair or kind of behind the side. And I'm going to start by holding on to the chair with my left hand. So hold on to the back of your chair with your left hand. Your left foot is going to be grounded. And grounded simply means that I really press that foot into the ground. So I feel the ground under my left toes, the left ball of my foot, and my left heel. Good. Come up. Bring your posture up. Elongate. Come on to those right toes. Your right knee goes out to the side. And then I want you to find a focal point. Find a focal point. So I'm actually going to use the camera for my focal point. Good. Hold it. You've got a good grip on the back of that chair. Bring that foot up, maybe to your calf, maybe to your inner thigh. Good. Hold it. Focus. Bring that arm out. You want to bring it all the way up you can. Hold it. Good. You can hold on to this chair the whole time. If you want to fingertip the chair, you can. If you want to try it, knowing that the chair is there, you can hold it at any moment. Try it. Maybe bring that arm up. Breathe. Focus. Slow and easy. Come right back down. Then let's do the same thing on the other side. So hold on, that right hand, you've got a good grip. Press down with that right foot. Take the time to feel the ground under your toes, under the ball of your foot, under your right heel. Come up on those left toes. Left knee goes out to the side. Good focal point. Maybe bring that foot to your calf. Maybe your inner thigh. Good, hold it, bring your posture up. Take your left arm up to the sky. Focus, breathe. Maybe think about bringing that right arm up. Good, you can hold on the whole time if you need to. You can also just fingertip. Maybe try it, bring it up. If you want to go all the way, go all the way. Breathe. Slowly come back down. Good, mindfully release and shake it out. Shake those legs out. Shake those legs out. Just like you would if you were going to shake water off your legs. Shake them out. Shake them out. Good. Shake out your hands. Good. Stretch your fingers out. Stretch them out just like that. And then make a fist. Good. Make that fist. Really clench. Good. And then stretch them out again. And make that fist. Good. Let's do one more. Stretch them out. And then make that fist. Good. And it's going to be hard to see behind the chair, but most of you will know this, or all of you probably will. Hold on to the back of the chair. Good. We're going to do, we're going to take it back. 
Good, walk your feet back, walk your feet back. Good, you're gonna drop down, you're gonna come down into a 90 degree angle. Good, flatten your back. Your feet are directly under your hips. Your feet are directly under your hips. So I'm just like this, I'm just like this. Good. And breathe, try to open up your shoulders, flatten your back. Your hands are holding onto the back of the chair. And then slowly soften those knees, walk those feet forward, and come right back up. Good, and breathe. And then I want you to hold on to the back of the chair again. Good, you can come all the way to the back of yours. I'm gonna kind of be on the side so you can see. I want you to hold on with both hands. I want you to take your left leg out to the side and then swing it behind that right leg and then back out and then in front and out. Behind and out, in front and out. Behind, out, front, out. Behind, out, and front, out. And relax. Let's do the other side. Good, come over. Hold on with both hands, right leg goes out. Good, take it behind, swing it across as much as you can, back out, and then swing it across the front, and out. Behind, front, behind, front, behind, and front. Good, and relax, relax. Good, happy puppy a little bit. Happy puppies where you're gonna Move your hips back and forth. Back and forth. Good, remember a puppy can't shake his tail, he shakes his whole back end. So shake that back end. Good. And then I wanna come down into your invisible chair. Come down into your invisible chair. Good, I think you can see me if I do this. But I'm not actually gonna to touch my chair. Good, come down, come down. Head is up, shoulders are up. Stay right there. Hands to your heart and breathe. Sometimes it's actually easier, I think, to go down a little bit further. Breathe. And then slowly come back up. Hands to the sky. Deep breath. Exhale. Good, and then come back to your chair and mindfully sit, which means to either feel the chair on the back of your legs or visually look at it, and then sit down. Good, you can scoot back if you'd like to. Let's take a minute. Good, get comfortable. Go from hip to hip a little bit if you'd like. Good, move your shoulders a little bit. Good, you can move your head a little bit back and forth if you'd like to. Good, bring your chin down to your chest. Give that neck one last stretch. Bring it back up, relax your jaw. Lean back in your chair, roll your shoulders back. Good, make sure your feet are comfortable. Hopefully your feet are on the floor. If not, if you have anything you can set those feet on, that's good. Good. You want to try to have a surface always because the theory with that is if you can have a surface to press into that you can let go a little bit more. So hands down. Good. Just take a moment. Allow yourself to become quiet, still. You may feel your heartbeat. Good. Sometimes it's nice to even take your hands to your heart. Just allow yourself to relax. Allow yourself to feel the reward of what you just did. Just let your breath be slow and easy. Keep your shoulders back.
you'd like to take a moment, practice gratitude. Maybe you're just grateful for that heartbeat. Practice gratitude for anything that feels right for you. Doesn't matter how big or how small. And let's just take this last minute and see if you can just allow yourself to melt into the chair. Become heavy. like to join me with your hands at your heart center. I am so grateful for each of you. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to the day that I get to see your beautiful faces. I hope you are well. I wish you health, happiness, peace. Namaste. Thank you.